Hello everyone. In the previous session, we we'll learned about meristematic tissue. In this session, we will discuss about histological organization of root and shoot apex. To explain root and shoot apex, different th theories have been proposed. In the first one is apical cell theory. First one is apical cell theory. Apical cell theory. This apical cell theory is proposed by Hofmeister. This theory is proposed by Hofmeister in the year 1857. And this theory is supported by Karl Nageli. Karl Nageli supported this theory in the year 1878. Okay. According to him, in Dryopteris, Dryopteris, it is a pteridophytic plant, Dryopteris, Dryopteris, it is a pteridophytic plant, in this, the root apex contain an apical cell, which have apical cell, this apical cell is generally in tetrahedral shape, it is a tetrahedral shaped cell tetrahedral shaped cell is present in the root apex for example this is a root this is root apex this root apex is covered with root cap this is root cap in the root apex a tetrahedral shaped apical cell is present. This is a tetrahedral shaped apical cell. Okay. This is a tetrahedral shaped apical cell which have four phases. This is one, this is two, three and that side. Back side is fourth phase is present. Okay. In which the upper three phases, one, two and Backside phase divide and redivide to uh, produce entire tissue in the plant body. I understand. Upper three phases, upper three phases divides to produce entire plant body. Entire plant body that means they produce tissues in the root and stem of the plant body. Okay. They considered that this apical cell is responsible for formation of entire tissue in the plant body and it is responsible for uh, structural and physiological unit in the plant body. Okay. Later, it is assumed that in gymnosperms and angiosperms, in gymnosperms and angiosperms, the, in this group also root cell sorry root apex containing apical cell and this single apical cell is responsible for formation of tissue in the plant body but later studies revealed that in the gymnosperms and angiosperms this single cell is not responsible for the formation of tissue a group of a group of meristematic tissue is present in gymnosperm and angiosperms and they form complete tissue in the plant body so that apical cell theory is replaced by other theories remaining theories i will explain in the next video thank you